Assalamu alaikum. Today we will be examining the respiratory system from the front of the patient. So, beginning with the usual greetings, introduction, consent, exposure, and proper positioning. Inspect the chest by kneeling down at the patient's level and observe the respiratory movements of the chest wall. Make sure to keep track of the respiratory rate as well for about 15 seconds and multiply that number by 4. Look for any asymmetry or abnormal movements of the chest wall. Perform a thorough inspection of the chest from above, noting its shape any suprasternal recessions or supraclavicular excavations, intercostal indrawing or fullness, subcostal recessions, scar marks, visibly engorged veins or impulses, and so on. To begin palpation, check for tracheal deviation by gently advancing a single finger resting in the sternal notch in the midline. Also check the paratracheal spaces, place the palmar surface of your right hand over the precordium and feel for a cardiac impulse. Ask the patient to turn left if you are unable to do so. Locate the apex beat and note its position. Counting from the sternal angle of Lewis at the second intercostal space, locate the apex beat in the left fifth intercostal space just medial to the mid clavicular line and make sure to note its character. Measure the distance of the apex beat, which is roughly 9 to 10 centimeters in normal individuals from the mid-sternal line to the left fifth intercostal space. To assess the chest expansibility, cup your hands with fingers spread apart and pull them medially to tighten any loose skin on the shoulders. Gently command the patient to take a full breath in and repeat this process on both the upper and the lower anterior chest wall while noting any asymmetry on either side. Using a measuring tape, assess the expansibility of the patient's chest wall. Less than 3 cm is problematic. Vocal fremitus is detected by placing the ulnar border or the flat of the hand on the chest wall and instructing the patient to say 99 or thin thin on each contact to feel distinct vibrations. In the mid-clavicular line, feel up till the sixth intercostal space on either side, while making sure to compare bilaterally. In the mid-axillary line, check the fourth to sixth or seventh intercostal spaces bilaterally, noting any change in the character on either side. Commence percussion on the apices of the lungs and proceed downwards to the clavicle, making sure to only use one finger directly on the mid-clavicular area. Following this, apply the middle finger of your non-dominant hand firmly on the intercostal spaces and drum the middle phalanx of your non-dominant hand with the index or middle finger of your dominant hands on each intercostal space as shown. Compare the percussion note on each side before moving on to the next intercostal space. Along the midclavicular line, percuss from the second to sixth intercostal spaces on both sides, and similarly, in the mid-axillary line, percuss from the fourth to sixth or seventh intercostal spaces on either side of the thorax, as shown in the video. Auscultation involves a thorough assessment of the breath sounds, vocal resonance, and any added sounds. Instruct the patient to take slow deep breaths in and out 
through their open mouths. The demonstrator is using a master cardiology stethoscope. Please use the bell of your stethoscope to auscultate the lung epices. Move downwards along the same areas in the midclavicular line as shown in percussion and vocal fremitus. Compare the corresponding intercostal spaces for abnormalities in the breath sounds or any added sounds. Make sure to check along the mid-axillary line as well. Lastly, you may also assess the vocal resonance in the same fashion after instructing the patient to say 99 or teen teen 